generalizing a pattern. Here we are going to solve two questions. The first question is make a table of values for x and y where x, y are related by the equation x plus y equal to 7 and x, y are positive integers. Whenever you have a statement like this or whether there is a word problem or whatever mathematical problem is, always separate what is given and what is required of you. Once you have identified what is given, so in this question, question number one, question number one, let's see what is given. Here given is that x, y are positive integers. They are positive integers. That is one thing that is given here. This is part of the question. And also another thing what is given is that x plus y is equal to 7. So these are the two pieces of information which are given to us. And then what is required of us that we want a table of values. Table of values. So let's get started and uh, make a table of values f for x and y. That is generally how the, we write the table. First x, the independent variable, and then y, the dependent variable. But let's get started and see what is the possible value for x? Because x, y are positive integers, the minimum value of x could be 0. Okay, and then what is the possible value for y? If we choose y equal to 0, the first condition is okay, but where is the second condition which says that sum of the values must be 7? So obviously, y can't be 0, 1, 2, 3, any of these values until we get y is equal to 7. Now 7 meets both requirements that x, y are positive integers and their sum is 7 as well. Now when x is equal to 1, next positive integer, then y might be 6 that will fulfill both the condition. So this pattern will continue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this would be 5, this would be 4, this would be 3, this would be 2, this would be 1, this would be 0. Because if we take any more values of x, like x equal to 8, then the possible value of y which can give us the sum 7 is minus 1 but it violates our first condition that x and y must be positive integer so that's it this is the required table of values and now if we want to uh, verify very we can verify for any pair verify that x plus y is equal to 7 it's obvious now if we verify for this one that would be 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Yes, we can verify for this, we can verify for this, we can verify for any of these. The required condition is fine. We have satisfied that all both the conditions and we have produced what was required of us. Similarly, now take a look on the question number 2 which says make a table of values for x and y where x, y are related by the equation x plus 2y equal to 16 and x, y are natural numbers. The question is pretty much same, just a little bit change here. Question number 2 and what is this time? What is given to us? The given this time is that x, y are natural numbers natural numbers and what else x plus 2y must be equal to 16 this time 
and this time we are going to take the double of y. Okay, what is required of us? What is required of us is table of values. Table of values. If it's pretty much the same question, but the this time we are given that x, y are natural numbers. How are natural numbers different than positive integers? Positive integers, in fact, can start from zero. Natural numbers are ordinary counting numbers and they will start from one, two, three, four, five. Zero is not a natural number. So you can't take zero as value of x this time. You are going to start from one. So let's make a table here, x and y. Okay, here we am going to play a little trick here now and we'll see how we, we do that. If x is equal to one, that is the minimum value, instead of writing the y which is required of us because x and y makes the table, I am going to write in fact 2y. That will make our job easier a little bit. So what is 2y in fact which can combine with 1 like x plus 2y can give us the 16. 2y can only be 15 which can give us 16. But is there a natural number whose double is 15? No, there is no natural number which can give us the sum of which can whose double is equal to 15. So there is no such value. Let's take x equal to 2. If 2 then what is the possible value which can give the sum 16? That is 14. Which value of y is a natural number and its double is 14. Obviously 7 fits perfectly well. Okay and then 3 and what would be 2y? 2 would be which would give us the sum of 16 could be 13 only but there is no natural number whose double is 13 so there is y is not a there is no natural number. Similarly, if we go to 4, this time what is required? 12. And which num natural number has a uh, double of 12? That is 6. And now 5. And this is what is required? 11. Is there a natural number? 5 and uh, this would be 11. So if 11, is there a natural number whose double is 11? No, there is none. So 6, it's 10. And similarly, we will continue to go on. So this is 5, whose double is 10. And now 7 and 9 here. No, there is no natural number whose double is 9. And 8, this is 8 as well. And 4 is the number whose double is 8. 9 and here should be 7. There is no natural number whose double is 7 and this is 10 and this must be 6. 3 is the number and 11 and now is there this there must be 5 which will give us the sum of 16 but is there a natural number whose double is 5? No. So 12 and this must be 4 to give the sum 16 and 2 is the number and if this is 13 this is 3 no there is no natural number so 14 2 and 1 is the number and 15 and 1 there is no natural number and that's it if you take you can't go lower than 1 because there is no, uh, there are no, the lowest natural number is, is this. So what is the required table? The required table you can now say, the required table would be x 
y so required table would be 2 7 and then 4 6 and then 6 5 5 and then 8 4 8 4 and then would be 10 3 10 3 and then would be 12 2 2 and then would be 14 1 and that's it this is required now if you want to verify verification and the way we are going to verify we are going to see if x plus 2y is equal to 16 x is what 2 plus 2 times what is y 7 and 2 times 7 is 14 plus 2 is 16 cool very good 4 plus 2 times 6 that is 16 and 6 plus 2 times 5 is 16 so this way if you want to verify you can verify 14 plus 2 times 1 is equal to 16 so this is the verification that is how we can generalize a pattern and then we can verify the results as well see you in the next video